I have a confession to make. I lied to you all. In the previous video, I mentioned how we're going to talk about the last sub-application that exists within Outlook, which is the task list. But in fact, there is another one that's a bit more hidden that we have access to, and that's the notes. So I figured it's time to let it all clean. Let's repair our relationship, and I'll show you how to work with the notes list. Let's jump right into it. So I'm back on my home screen. And as you can see, if you looked at the bottom left, you might be saying, well, OK, I see the calendar view. I see the people view. I see the task list. Where's the notes? Well, to do that, we're actually going to click on our more options here. And if we do that, there you can see we have access to our notes. So what do notes do? Well, of course, on a day to day, if you're like me, I have a ton of sticky notes on my desk. I'm constantly writing them, putting them someplace. And they easily can get lost or misplaced or maybe fall in the trash or in the washer on accident. So instead of writing them down on paper, we can also just navigate to our Outlook, open up our Notes app, and create new notes right from here. All right. So when we do that, you can see they're all labeled as sticky notes. Um, of course, we can always change this view. So if you're not seeing this screen, it's most likely because you're in the simple ribbon view. So again, as always, we're going to keep repeating it. You can either change view here, or you can open up the classic ribbon view, and you'll be able to access your views. All right. for, for the sake of practice and changing things up, we're going to change our view this way. So we're going to click on Change View. I can see the sticky notes icon. I can just have a list of my notes ready to go right away so I can see them all at one. Or I can see any of my notes from the last seven days, so only things that are the most recent. Okay. In this case, I like the notes list personally, um, although sticky notes could be helpful too. I like the notes list just because I can read everything easier. All right, so how do we create notes? Well, as always, we can create a new note or the keyboard shortcut we've been using throughout this entire course, Control N. And you can see it, it looks just like a sticky note. So for my paper lovers, it's going to feel familiar for us. And we can go ahead and jot down some notes. Uh, so I can say, for example, uh, Ellen asked me at 1 PM to my flight plan. So you know, maybe I was in a phone call with Ellen, and I didn't have any paper on hand. I might want to open up my Outlook and just jot down these quick notes. I have to follow up with Carlos about flight plans. Uh, do so before 11, 1. OK, so there's my notes. Just making sure I have a mind to follow up. And then as soon as I click out, bam, there we go. The notes will appear. And I can always double click it to see the entire information. A couple of other things I can do. Um, I can quick print those notes. I can forward those notes to someone else. And of course, I can categorize it as we've been seeing. I'm actually going to categorize this as urgent because we want to make sure our flight plans are all set and good to go. Um, so I don't want to forget that at all. Okay. Again, a couple other actions we have. We can create some new items here. We can delete notes as needed. Um, we can move a note. So we can move this note um, into our inbox or to a different folder. And then at any point in time, we have access to our notes here. Uh, and of course, any other notes that may have been created. So again, just helpful to know this feature is available. It might be, in my opinion, that might be a lot better than you know writing down the sticky notes that you can lose. Just open up your Outlook, navigate to your more options, hit the Notes app, and type in any notes that are going down in a meeting or a phone call that you may need to address later. It will always be housed here for you to follow up on at any time.